This is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in today to um, look at the beginning of March for you all, and I hope you're having a great March so far. My friends Chippy and Sparky came in to join me today. They love to help with reading, so I always give them a little cookie and let them have a cookie and let them take a nap. <laughs> Beautiful Capricorn, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. I'm going to jump right into your reading and we're going to look at three categories today. Love, money, and what you don't see coming. If you're not interested in one of the categories, feel free to skip ahead and look at what you would like. Okay, so first we're going to love Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know in the love department? Wow. You're getting your wish for one thing, Capricorn. This is all about you have put out to the universe what it is you want. It's coming back to you. This is often being in love with or marrying the person that you want to marry or be with, okay? Any other wishes you put out there in the love department also are coming back to you at this time. I feel like you've been feeling a little bit discontent, like you haven't been sure what you did want. And that's created a little bit of a challenge, like you've got all of that, but what did you want to put in that last cup? You weren't quite sure. And that's why it was a challenge. So, let's see what else, Capricorn. Yeah, look at this, some sort of a love celebration for you, Capricorn. Now, for some of you, this could be, um, like choosing between two people. But for some of you, it's a total love celebration. I'll get some clarification, okay? Because that card does have multiple meanings. And we've got the Fool card. So there's a definitely a new path in love for you and the Death card's coming up. So something has ended and made room for all of this. I feel like whatever was making you feel discontent has ended. This is an ending and new beginning card. This can also represent Scorpio energy and you're getting some sort of a new path there um, in love Capricorn, okay? Let's get a few more details here for you. Here's key on a ring. There are many options, uh -huh. and the options could be shown in this Three of Cups. Options, unconventional, one night stands, or being strung along, okay? So take that as it resonates for some, you know, this is a collective reading, so everything won't fit for everybody every time, okay? You guys know that. But I like to just remind you because, um, you know, that is going to be for somebody specific. Look at this, another ring card, engagement ring. Some of you are going to a higher commitment. Maybe your options are over and this is going into the past. We've got higher commitment, eternity, partnership, union, and completion, which goes right along with this Three of Cups being a celebration card. Might be an engagement party for some of you, okay? Definitely getting your wish. And here we've got the sword and the rose, which is clarity and truth. I feel like whatever has happened in the past, whatever brought in this death card for you, I feel like you're getting clarity and truth about that. A lot of revelations coming through. You know, we're coming up on Mercury retrograde. So a lot of stuff from the past is going to come up, secrets revealed, things like that. We've got honor, protection, and determination, the rose and the sword. So I feel like that's very connected to this death card that came up earlier. Okay. Any other clarification for Capricorn before we move on to money? Yes, we've got unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, and affection return. This is blowing a kiss, Capricorn. <laughs> okay, awesome. Your love looks amazing. You are getting your wish, Capricorn. Okay, let's go over and let's take a look at money now capricorn let's see money for capricorn what is coming up money for capricorn and under the heading of money we have business career um, self-employment um, traditional employment side hustles commissions house sales anything you consider under money for you okay so what does Capricorn need to know? Here we go again, a new path, look at this. <laughs> You've got something new happening, You're going down a new path in money. 
there's some competition going on there, um, Capricorn, with this Five of Wands. So the new path might be because of this, or this, this could be causing the new path. Let's see what else. Competition in your business, potentially, or for a new job, and that sort of thing. There's something you're saying goodbye to and walking away from there, um, Capricorn, with that Eight of Cups energy, and that does re have to do with a job or money. So there's something there you're like, I've stayed in that too long, um, you know, pretty soon I'm going to just take off, walk away from all of that that wasn't satisfactory. Yeah, you might be taking a rest too from money and jobs. You might be taking some PTO or you might just be, um, you might have stress illness, some of you, from a job situation and this is why you're walking away from it and you just need to take a break, okay? And then we've got Three of Cups. Then we've got Celebration coming in again. And I've, this is some of this is love celebration. Some of this is you're taking a break to um, go be with your person, you know, or have that engagement party I saw earlier, that sort of thing. What else is coming for money? You've got some decisions to make about jobs and money, about walking away uh, while you're on this break. Let's, ask, let's do some clarification on why this Five of Wands competition card came up for you. Why is that the Crossing card or the Challenge card at this time? Actually, I'm going to switch decks. We're going to go over to this deck see what's in here. These are sort of Renaissance looking cards, so they're very graphic. Just be prepared, okay? Let's see. What do you need to know? about that competition card. There's the fool again. So there's something about on this new path, there may be competition, all right? Yeah, may be competition. And the emperor, so Capricorn, you are gonna be in charge nonetheless. The emperor is the person who wins, okay? He's the person who gets what he wants, very, very determined. Um, this can sometimes have to do with real estate. Um, the emperor has to do with building things that are concrete, you know, material things. And, you know, he gets what he wants. So there may be competition having to do with um, any sort of real estate or housing, um, tenants, um, anything that falls under that kind of category, okay, with the emperor. He builds bridges, you know. And he's often a father energy and, you know, he knows what he wants. He's no nonsense and he's very organized and he's not going to bow down to competition. So while that may be a challenge, maybe even an exciting challenge for you at this time, you are the emperor. You're showing up as the emperor energy. Now take it as it resonates. For some of you, this could be empress, okay? Or this could be your person, okay? We've got the hanged man. Where are they going with this? Because that's having to do with feeling like you're in a little bit of a state of limbo, having to do with competition. Something might be giving you some anxiety and some sleepless nights with this competition. And how does that work out? It works out great because look at that. You've got new opportunities coming in. So what this competition does is it brings the emperor new opportunities. There might be a little waiting period where you're sort of worried about it and, you know, feeling like you're pulling your hair out, waiting and waiting. Then three new opportunities come in, you guys, with that competition. That's awesome. Let's go over here and ask, what are you walking away from? What's that break? What are those two things about? Regarding, again, we're looking at money. What does this have to do Cap with Capricorn? We have Ace of Wands, you got a whole new beginning. So you're walking away from something, but you're getting a whole new thing happening here, okay? And again, we've got the Fool and the Ace of Wands. And this is a very passionate new beginning for you, Capricorn. What's that resting card about? What's the Four of Swords about? Look at this, we have got the um, Six of Pentacles there. So there's something, this card is really multi-layered in this deck. This is about somebody feeling like um, this man owed them money, okay? And whoever it was took everything, including the person's clothes. And you can see this demon back here over this person. This is somebody helping this man, all right? 
And I'm feeling like you're in a situation where you're walking away from something and you might feel like somebody's taken something from you, you know, all the way down to the shirt on your back. And you might feel like dark energy is following you. But through this resting period, something good comes back to you. So I feel like if money was taken from you, Capricorn, even in a, you know, even in an employment situation, something you were promised was taken away or something stolen from you in that way, in an unfair sort of way, it's returning. It's returning to you. Okay. Here we've got the six of swords um, energy. Yeah, you're walking away. You're relocating. You're walking away from something that did not work. Okay. Same thing here. Walking. You're sailing away from something that was very turbulent where somebody took something from you. All right. You're going into a more peaceful time frame. You might be actually relocating for a job. Okay. And your final outcome with money is um, the seven of pentacles here. And this is growing and nurturing money. This is your money growing. He's planting, <laughs> he's planting seeds here and they're growing. Okay. It's also, you can see he's a little bit discontent, which again, eight of cups is too. And, you know, we went from seven of cup, I mean, seven of pentacles to eight of cups. They're sort of connected here in the way of, he's not sure he wants to keep planting the money the way he was. He's like, I don't know, I've grown a lot of it. I'm not sure I want to keep doing this. I might want to do so. I might want to plant a different sort of money. Okay. That's what that is saying. And I think that's exactly where you are. I think that's why you're going to be taking this break for a little bit. Maybe you're feeling stressed out. You just need a break. You need to just take a vacation. Um, and you're going to decide if you want to keep planting in the same way you have been. Okay. Which is the equivalent of growing your money at this time. Okay, Capricorn, we're going to switch over now, and the last category, we are going to look at what you don't see coming, okay? What you don't see coming. Capricorn energy, what do you not see coming at this time, Capricorn? What you don't see coming... You don't see coming oh some really fast moving energy with this knight of swords energy so this is something that's going to come in really quickly that you are not expecting and this is some kind of um, energy that's like a very intelligent person for instance or somebody with a plan somebody with an agenda <laughs> okay and really to the point you know with this knight of swords energy and i think you can expect this person or situation to come rushing in and then go rushing out again. It may cause you to move or relocate. It could cause you to move into a new job or into a new house. Okay. That's the six of swords. You might be going to move by water. Um, a lot of times that is by water. Could be causing you some anxiety. You might feel like you've fallen in a hole you can't get out of, but as you can see, they're getting out of it, okay? Yeah, there's Ace of Wands, the passionate new beginning coming up. That's what you don't see coming. What else? Final words for Capricorn at this time. Oh, I can't leave it at that. There's something about a heartache or separation here. So for some of you, there's going to be some news that comes rushing in that causes you to leave. A turbulent situation you might feel like you've fallen in a hole but then you get a new beginning but there has been an ending and a heartache let me get one more on that to see I hate to leave you on three of swords yeah and there's three of wands so the three of swords does lead you to new opportunities so yes heartache might be in here where this is you're moving away from whatever that situation is but you're getting new opportunities that you haven't even seen coming, Capricorn. Okay, final, final word for Capricorn. <laughs> the moon. Yeah, there's going to be some beneficial changes for one thing, but also things you just don't see. Use your intuition. Um, and your intuition might be on super high alert with all of this going on. But you do need to really pay attention to your innermost feelings and intuition, your gut feelings on all of this. Okay, on all of this, follow your intuition. But the new opportunities and new beginnings are definitely here. 
So you will be getting out of a hole. If you feel like you've gotten in a hole you can't get out of and this heartache. These are connected, the moving and stuff, okay? And then this is what is coming in. So I hope this was helpful to you today, Capricorn. Thanks for coming in for your reading. And if you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up and um, share it if you'd like. And I will see you guys again soon. Okay, I can't wait to see your comments, see how it resonated with you. Have a good one. Bye now.